The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Oops! Ladies and gentlemen, that was a technical mistake. Please stand by. exclusive classy neighborhood of Hollywood stands proudly one of the hottest spots in the motion picture industry today. Modern Video Film Incorporated for our clients, MVF for our friends, and Just Plain Modern for us. And we at Modern make a company that seemed to grow in a matter of days from three employees to 300. Therefore, it was necessary for us to create this educational film for all hundreds of us to know what we are all about. We are going to take you now on a tour in order to familiarize you with our operations. And our operations always start with our clients.
That was a glimpse at our operations, but let's not forget the most important of them all, the Pavlovian reaction we all get at 11 o'clock when we hear this. Now that you know everything about our operations, let's meet some of the individuals. One of the sweetest people of all around here is Stuart. There's one strange thing, though. Wherever you are, he is too. You turn your head to the right, he is there. You look behind, he's there also. We don't just imagine this. Watch, we'll prove it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Telesini guys. And the Telesini intern. we all get together and discuss our favorite subject. How much are the Telesini guys making? Twelve hundred a week. You're way off. It's eighteen hundred minimum. It's been twenty-five for over a year. Oh, you don't know anything. Forty-eight hundred minimum. No wonder they're so friendly. And now, Here's someone who's always been very nice to the offline department. Frankly, my dear, we can't stand you. Thanks, Carol. Lately, we have been getting the feeling that there are more and more of those employees around here with that strange, heavy accent. The camera which is used uh, to shoot me is uh, called the uh, Betacam. It's made by Sony. It's kind of a new, uh, a new breakthrough in, uh, in. Uh, and they're shooting uh, data for uh, news and, uh, and uh, events similar to that. The idea is that uh, it's, it's utilizing uh, a Sony Betamax cassette, which is uh, very uh, light in weight and small, and uh, the quality is uh, superior to the uh, traditional three-quarter inch, which was used for that purposes before. So what we're getting is uh, we are winning in two ways. First of all, we got uh, smaller cassettes, and we get better quality, and uh, it seems like uh, Stuart, that idea is going to uh, spread and uh, be used uh, more and more for those uh, applications. Thank you. Yeah, I have nothing to say about Israelis except good things, you know? Yeah, no, they're great. Okay, this is the vault, the place which all the people in this building would like to walk. But the people which are not qualified usually becoming tape operators or telecine operators. What? All users, please log off. Thank you.
all users may continue. The only thing I have to say about Israelis is the, the accents, you know, they get a little tough. I think it would help if, like, if Avi would, uh, you know, not be eating when he makes his announcements, you know, it would be a lot easier. And, uh, and Pinky, you know, Pinky I'm getting used to, but uh, if he would like, you know, if he just not clench his teeth when he talks, you know, he might uh, be able to understand what he's saying. You know? But <laughs> other than that, I mean, I have no problem. I mean, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, words I've learned, you know, but I don't want to say them here. <laughs> Then there's, uh, there's Haggai, you know, Haggai's got his own way of boogieing, you know, he's like this, you never know what he's doing, you know, like that. But his accent is great because he, he went to school, he went to school in uh, Massachusetts or something like that. But the one who's got the best accent is uh, Zevik. He's got the best accent because he was in the Shin Bet, which is like the Israeli secret police, but everyone doesn't, doesn't know he's still in it. I mean, he's here spying on us, right? Because they think Moshe's making too much money and he's, you know, he's going to, he's, <laughs> what he's gonna do with it, but uh, so that's that's the problem. And uh, I drink this all the time, by the way. It's imported from Israel. You know. In the past few months, we have held a fashion competition. It was very difficult to reach a decision. However, after all the votes were counted, the winners were revealed. Voted for the best dressed man. <laughs> Not that he didn't have any competition. Voted for the best dressed woman. Not that she didn't have any competition. Obviously, the night shift was not here for the daytime shooting. So here's a little lullaby for you, night people. Most of the people who work here are relaxed, peaceful, quiet people.
And now, the mystery man. Today, we will reveal to you everything you always wanted to know about him. We succeeded in convincing this quiet man to give us a comprehensive interview, but it was very difficult to get. The arrangements and preparations were very intense. sorry. After all that, the interview did not pass the censor's office and we lost our right to use that footage. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My race too. Pump up the chair. <laughs> yeah. 
I won't take the first bite, you won't take the camera away from me, right? Right. Uh, not too close, please. No, it's My fine. nose is peeled. No problem. It's okay. I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's good. Can I have a cue card, please? <laughs>